There have been a ton of rumors recently about a Nintendo Switch 2 releasing soon, so that begs the question, will there be another Pokemon game on the Switch? So we for sure know that in 2023 we're gonna get a two-part DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Part one of that DLC is gonna release around like October-ish, and part two will either release in December or maybe even early 2024. The reason why I think that there's a possibility of us not getting another new Pokemon game on the Switch is because Pokemon is the biggest franchise out there, and Nintendo's probably gonna want a brand new Pokemon game to sell as a launch title with whatever the next console is, just to ensure that they get the highest amount of console sales as possible. Let's just say, for example, whatever the next Pokemon game actually is, and if it's released on the next Nintendo console, people are going to really want to play this new game, so they're going to have to buy the new console. That, that's the only way they're going to be able to play it, so it's just going to boost console sales up. Also, I just want to quickly mention I made a channel membership. It's only 99 cents a month. There's no stress or no worries. I'm just mentioning it out there. I don't expect anyone to sign up, but if you want to support the channel, there is an option. As of right now, we don't have any idea what the next Pokemon game is going to even be. One of my theories is that Nintendo will announce a new Pokemon Legends game around the release date of the Scarlet and Violet DLC. So like announcing Legends Johto or Legends Celebi, whatever it's going to be around October, September-ish of this year. So I so only in a few months and then release that game early 2024 similar to what they did with legends rcs because they released that game early 2022 i believe and announced it just a few months before that's just my thought though i'm probably wrong about that just a little theory the switch is also almost eight years old which is kind of crazy it does not feel like that at all which is around the lifespan of like the typical console so it's definitely going to be replaced within the next few years the Switch is so wildly successful though, I think they've sold like somewhere in the realm of 120 million units which is absolutely insane. So I feel like Nintendo is going to want to hold on to that console just for a little bit longer before releasing a new one just so they can get a bunch of new game sales and just keep boosting the Switch in general. Also I don't think that the next console is actually going to be called the Switch 2 as people probably aren't going to see a difference between the Switch 1 and 2 or they're not going to know about a difference which will lead to lower sales because when they released the Wii U people just thought it was another Wii like a Wii variant they didn't think it was anything different than just the regular Wii and yeah they should have named the Wii U something else it probably would have got a little bit more sales and as we all know that console was a failure for Nintendo it still sold like I think 15 million units which is a lot but compared to every other Nintendo console that's just not much at all. There are also still some massive titles coming out on the Switch like Pikmin 4 is coming out some of the new Mario games like Mario RPG and that new 2D Mario game which looks really cool and they just released Tears of the Kingdom, which is a huge game, but one of the main issues that the Switch has is that it has a ton of ports and remakes. I mean, it's not really so much of an issue because I'm all for remakes and ports and everything, but I feel like the Switch just continues to get an abundance of Switch games rather than complete brand new titles. But don't get me wrong, there are still a ton of brand new titles on the Switch. The Switch library is actually pretty solid. Like. There's a ton of games on the Switch, and they're not all shovelware, like how the DS and the Wii just have a bunch of totally random games that just aren't good. So I feel like Nintendo's kind of saving a bunch of brand new titles for the next console at this point, because the Switch is so successful, there's so many units out there, and if they bring ports over from old games onto the Switch, people are going to buy these ports. Nintendo knows that people are going to buy re-released games for the Switch, because they have the Switch already. If they just make a remake, sell it for 40 bucks or something, people are going to buy it. So I think Nintendo's really taking advantage of that, which is pretty smart for a business, you know what I mean? Because everyone already has a Switch, all I need is just a fun remake of an old game that they loved. So whatever the next Nintendo console is, I don't think there's going to be nearly as many ports and remakes as the Switch had. It would also be kind of great if the next console was able to play Switch games, as pretty much all Nintendo consoles are typically backwards compatible with the previous console, like like DS games could be played on the 3DS, Wii can play GameCube games, Wii U can play Wii games and stuff like that. I don't know entirely if they would do that just because it probably would lessen the sales of the next console so I don't really know about that but it would be kind of cool but some people in the community have talked about how if uh, the next Pokemon game comes out if it would release on the Switch and the next console at the same time I'm just not exactly sure how that would work out just because the Switch hardware will be so outdated compared to the next console and you know how Nintendo is they're usually a few years behind anyways but I just don't think it's going to be great for a massive titles such as Pokemon to be released on two consoles at one time because the Switch's version is definitely going to be downgraded compared to the next console. Like the graphics are going to be worse, it's probably going to be laggy, but hopefully the next console 
has great hardware, and hopefully the next Pokemon game is going to be great on that next console. Either way though, the Switch's lifespan is definitely near the end. I'd say we're going to get a new console within the next three years. In my opinion, 2024 is going to be the Switch's last full year, and possibly the last Pokemon game might release in 2024. Then they'll probably announce the next console, but once again, those are just my thoughts. I'm probably wrong about that. But I kind of think that they're going to save Pokemon Generation 10 for the next console because they've already had two generations on the Switch, and Generation 9 uh, Scarlet and Violet, as we all know, was kind of iffy with the gameplay. Tons of glitches, tons of bugs, lag, and stuff like that. But the gameplay, aside from that, was amazing. I loved Scarlet and Violet. So I think there's so much potential with Generation 10 Pokemon. If it's released on the next Nintendo console, it's going to be better hardware, meaning better graphics, hopefully more stable FPS, hopefully it's not going to be laggy and stuff like that, and I think it's going to be a great game. I really think that they're going to hold Generation 10 to a high standard, at least I hope. I'd rather wait a few years to get a new Pokemon game, to be honest, than wait a year in between releases and get just mediocre games, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think there's going to be a Switch 2 or whatever the next console will be? releasing soon. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.